Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Epcanus writing tablet. Does that ring any bell? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. Then the professor. Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her. We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abkhanis stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? Aline? Aline? Carnby? 
Is that you? Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Come and get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen, turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. Okay, worked fine. I can see you. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. Are you? I do not recognize the sound of your steps. Please help me. I've had an accident. You should never have come here, young lady. This is not a place for you or anyone else. Why? What's going on here? My son Obed is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? Creatures of darkness. You must help him. You must take Obed with you before it's too late. Wait, what creatures? The creatures of darkness? What is... You see, young lady, here on Shadow Island, the shadows are alive. <laughs> they come and lick your face like hellfire. The shadows are cold and sharp and like razor blades. The shadows stalk you. They feed off your breath and your heat, but mainly off of your fear. Light dispels the shadows, but light also reveals the shadows. Obed will explain this better than I can. Where is he? How would I know? I haven't seen him for three days now. The last time he came, he entrusted me with this key. A statue in the smoking room. Take it. Shh. Listen. I don't hear anything. That hush! Howard? Howard? Is that you, Howard? Oh, what in heaven's name are you doing? Who's Howard? It's my husband, of course. Obed's father. Howard? Young lady, please, go have a look in the corridor. There might be a problem. Howard? Is that you?
This is no island. This is a nightmare. What have you dragged me into? First of all, I never dragged you into anything. Secondly, I told you to remain put. And third, I don't have any idea either. Where is all this coming from? Did we step into the Twilight Zone or what? I'm telling you, I have no idea. Anyhow, if you hear someone calling for help, beware. I don't understand. You'll understand way too soon. Did you hear something? I want you to answer me. I swear, I heard something. Quit stalling. Did you talk about our research to this Mr. Lamb, yes or no? Well, how do you think I was able to find all those guinea pigs for you? That's your problem. Oh, no. It's not my problem. It's our problem. Listen carefully, Obed. I've been putting up with your whining and your cowardice for years, but it's over now. You've known my goals from the beginning, and nobody, especially not me, forced you into following me. So if I were to find out that you betrayed me, well, you know me, and you know I would not hesitate for a second. Oh yes, I know you. I know you are completely mad. It's you, it, it's you who... Yes, it's me. And so what? Never cross me again. Ever. You stick to your narcotic stupor and let me fulfill our destiny.
Professor Morton! Professor? Professor! What are you doing here? I came to talk to you. I... To talk to me? Young lady, one doesn't come to Shadow Island to talk. Talking is useless here. Cornby? Cornby? Answer me! Aline, I thought you were dead. I thought so too. I'm not cut out for a place like this. I want all this to stop right now. I understand that. You understand? You understand? You don't understand a thing! I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want with me, but all I want is for this nightmare to end right now. Look, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. Obed Morton drugged me and then locked me in here. And I tried to help him. Sounds like your wonderful professor might not be so wonderful after all. Don't move, I'm coming. Is that the best you can do? Yes, I am doing my best. Well, okay. Hurry up.
Lam? Is that you? Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You have no idea what is going on here. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. You're a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Lam? Lam! No, no, don't do it. Let me explain. You are going to tell me what's going on. I still don't know. Here, I got your stuff. Thanks. I never should have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not sure anymore. I have this feeling there's more than one Obed Morton. It's too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you, somewhere you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby, you and I both know the safest place is two hours away by plane. I haven't managed too bad up to now, and I'm not planning on just sitting around doing nothing with the little time I have left to live. I want to know. Just before, I heard a voice up above. There's a trap door. With your help, I can reach it. Why not stick together, the two of us? We both don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane? Come on, give me a hand. And if I say no? That's not your style. Carnby?
Hornby? Carnby? I know you met the ghost behind the mirror. How do you know? All those who make it to this accursed island meet him. Beware of his promises. Who is he? An evil being, a shadow fiend, a corrupter. He has great powers, but chooses to use them for evil. What about Obed? Something strange. I saw him, yet I'm not sure. Do not waste any time. Just tell him that I bear him no grudge and that I need to see him. Carnby? Carnby? Carnby?
I knew I could trust you. Come, come, have no fear. Do as Alice did, come to me. Everything is so much more beautiful on the other side of the looking glass. Come, come now. Give me the mirror. Fulfill our agreement. Carnby, you're going to be proud of me. I already am proud of you. I managed to defeat Deserto's ghost, and he had a statue. So our mission is nearly over. Are you sure of that? No, I only said it to bolster our courage. Let me congratulate you, young woman, for I admire your courage. But who are you? They call me Edenshaw. Finally, I meet you. Maybe you can explain everything. I want to talk with Obed Morton. Before you try and talk to him, you should go to his office. You will find out a lot more there. But what happened to him? Time is running short. I, who am the last witch doctor, I ask for your help. My forefathers showed me the Abkhanis ritual that can destroy the heart of darkness. I must carry it out tonight, or else it will be too late for the human race. We must stop the shadows before they spread across our world. But what can I do? We must find the seven statues of our seven gods of light. Only then can I carry out the ritual. Only then can I become the one the white men stopped me from becoming. The last of the warriors of light. I promise to help you. But how am I going to recognize them? Each of the seven gods has a holy animal companion. The statues represent these companions. But, Edenshaw? Edenshaw? Carnby, I talked with Edenshaw. I'm sure he's Abkhanis. Good for him. Edenshaw is an Abkhanis Indian. Carnby, Abkhanis Indians disappeared in the early 1800s. I confess I never really realized that. Okay, let's skip that part. Anyhow, he needs seven statues to carry out a ritual. Did he tell you that? No, he told me he was fresh out of strawberry sherbet. Carnby, of course he told me that. If I understand correctly, the statues depict animals. So they shouldn't be too hard to recognize. As soon as I find one, I'll radio you back.
So, have you seen Obed? Unfortunately, I think so. I don't know what's going on. Does Obed have enemies? What has he done that everyone hates him so? And why didn't you tell me that you had another son? Alan, that horrid beast is my son no longer. We have very little hope left. Our family bears a dark secret, young lady, and Alan is the cause of it. Obed gave me this. Here. I know too well what it is. Oh, poor Howard. What a 
have I done to deserve this hell? You must ask yourself the very same question, young lady. You did not end up here by chance. If the Lord allows you to escape, shed some light on your own life. You were born out of a misdeed and you are paying for that sin. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know better than I do. Enough! Leave me now! I'm weary and wish to sleep. Besides, all in all, I find you very unpleasant. Thank you. 
Why did you try and stop me in my path, father? You mustn't struggle against your fate. But you won't have died in vain. Your body is about to experience a new birth. The darkness blending into your blood will make you a stronger being. You will be faster. You will be a complete being. Oh, marvelously complete. First injection. Farewell, father. Second injection. Welcome, new man.
I need you one last time. I knew you would be back. Were you able to speak with Obed? Not yet, but I know now that he's alive for sure. I've got to tell you, your sons are monsters. Oh no. The true monster is this island. You must know, young lady. Tonight is a special night. As for me, I shall let myself be carried away. I shall let myself slip away. I, I've had enough and wish to rest now. Save your soul. I'm gonna try and save my body first. But I can't find a way out of this place. I only have one half of the medallion. I know not how you came about it, and do not wish to know. Here's the other half. May I ask you one last thing? Go ahead. Your son, Obed. Did he ever talk to you about... I mean, did he ever tell you he had a child? A daughter? Obed, a child? With, with whom? Obed was never interested in anything apart from his accursed Indians. Obed burned his life away in the flames of a pernicious passion, and yet, how could it have been otherwise? But why such a question? For no reason. No reason at all. Don't worry. I'll bring him back to you. Don't worry. No, you shall do no such thing. I am to die, and you are to live. Such are our fates, opposite, yet intertwined. Now go in peace. I am about to enter the realm of darkness, where Howard will come and meet me as soon as you set him free. Thank you, young lady.
I know you have a statue. There are still six missing. I don't understand why you never did something before. You could have prevented this whole nightmare. I am but a man. You have no idea what this ritual is for me. But time is running short. I know Alan is getting ready to open the gate, and that will unleash a true flood. You know I want to help. If I'm going to die, let's at least make it worthwhile. So give me a hint before you vanish again. Go to the fort. That is the Morton's true place. That is where you shall unveil the secrets of the island. 